Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 11th of September 1789, Alexander Hamilton was made the first United States Secretary of the Treasury by President George Washington. Alexander Hamilton was born on the Caribbean island of Nevis to a Scottish-born father and a half-British, half-French Huguenot mother who had left her husband and son on the Danish-ruled island of St Croix in the Virgin Islands. Alexander's parents were consequently unmarried when he was born, and he became an orphan around the age of 12 following his mother's death. His father had left the family a number of years earlier and Hamilton moved to live first with his older cousin, and later with a wealthy merchant. The young Hamilton secured work as a clerk at a local shipping company, where he developed an interest in writing. A letter to his father recounting a violent storm was later published in a newspaper, and this attracted the attention of wealthy locals, who provided funds for him to continue his education in New York City. Hamilton believed strongly in independence for the 13 colonies, and, following the outbreak of the American Revolutionary War, he joined a local militia from which he rose to become the senior aide to General Washington. The end of the war saw Hamilton elected as New York's representative to the Congress of the Confederation, where he argued for a strong central government and the creation of a new constitution. Hamilton was a highly influential member of President Washington's cabinet and was later appointed as the first Secretary of the Treasury on the 11th of September 1789. He continued in this role for almost five years, during which he had a key role in defining the structure of the government of the United States and created the country's first national bank. <laughs> 